Um, hey there, everyone. This is Rao Cow, and I'm playing a video game. And uh, honestly, like basically, what happens? I had a few ROM hack suggestions, and I was like, "Well, let's put it on a vote." Uh, and the game that won was 3,000 Leagues in Search of Bowser, and I'm just learning this right now, but apparently it's Toho flavored in some way. I did not, like, expect that at all. I knew there was, like, a full graphic swap version, but I didn't expect that. I t Okay! We've got a frog there! He's making a face and has shapes, and man, it's been a while since I played Mario. And Mario won! Apparently it says single player or two player. Translation directly, like this is a full on Japanese game, was translated by Atani like she did with VIP 1. So we're gonna have mostly English text. The translation might be wacky and crazy, and the first few screens aren't actually translated. That was a great nap, and another person says, I apologize for the intrusion, and the first person says, and it's not Wispy Wood, the that voice is... I heard a jump sound. Oh, it's a pair of breasts that lives on the wall. That's pretty odd. Uh, oh, it has to be Yukari, huh? What is this? And she answers, I found a really interesting game, so I had, and physics on the had, to come here and bring it to you, Remu. And then the first person says, Are you gonna make Marissa and I play this? And that's the story. It's very well crafted and a Super Nintendo Famicom. Which game did you get from Yukari? I don't know. I hope it is decent, but... Hey, Remu, delete that too on your upper right. This is true, you don't want channels around. I'm not using ZSNES because Alex told me not to use ZSNES. Let's go on Yoshi's house, which is a blue square. Hello there. Wow, that's... That's actually Shimeji. That's the author! I seem to have four hearts. I can spin down. What's going on with the music? <laughs> and this easily in the event you can restock your item with fart and if you put up our barb and we can save. Okay. Hooray! Oh boy. The music has problems. <laughs> That's a pretty nifty, like, graphic swap for Mario, though. Uh, it says save and continue and continue without saving. I think you can tell where the line break happens. And we're on a map, and we're on a map, and there's Icy Mountain, and, uh... Something was tr Mushroom Zone? I think it says Mushroom Zone on the sign. It's a little hard to read. Bottom of Yoshi's house's valley. Let's double our possessions. So I guess here we go. So a uh, video game and amulet and a turtle. Hey there, guy person. In these levels there are five coins. Oh jeez, coins! Can you believe that plan coming out? <laughs> Mario 2 style ducking here. Hey turtle, you are the shell bandit! Oh jeez, you're gonna steal my baby that I have, apparently. Hey there, Mr. Fancy Face. Okay. Oh well, that's pretty dandy. And mushrooms does become, nonetheless forever, the most important parallelogram. This is what happens when you get hurt. I had to demo it, man. It is an obligation. What if the rules were eschewed? What if they were changed? What if I'm- Whoa, That's a midpoint block, apparently. You can tell by this we. We are learning things. We got score, we got a fireball! It's pretty great and it burns the world. But not the grass. The grass is not flammable. You're supposed to bring a shell in there, I think. Wanna get the boogie prize. Turtle man! Let's... let's... Bo I wanted to boogie together, but you had to be a jerk. Why must you do that? Why must you be who you are? Why must we be enemies? Oh man, that was quite a spoiler-tastic moment in infamy here. We got big old square coins. You can tell they're coins, you got a coin like one on them. It's kinda silly looking perhaps, right? Bandit, Bandit, Bandito. 
mustard eater. I wanted to see what was in the thing, but I have lost all interest in knowledge. I will now become a person that lives underneath the porch and only comes out three times a day for my square meals. If they're triangular, I don't want no nothing to do with them. Man, it's nice playing this again. I know some people say I play too many ROM hacks, it's been a really long while since I played Mario, and it just feels so nice. Grassy cave! I'm there like a tongue inside a dentist. Hey there, Buzzy Beetle guy. You're a Buzzy Beetle. And we've got background changes. Oh man, we got grass. That exists. And fireproof non-bats enemy likes. And floating things. You can get too far. Well, I think I should have, like... Plopped out my mushroom so I could have full health again. I can see how this would be a problem -o. <laughs> That's a lot of capital letters. Some strange items, reality, mushroom, love, flower, friendships, feather, invincibility star. Your heart, your max hearts. Oh, wait, some strange items, real. What? What? I think I need to note this down. By which I mean, I think someone needs to note this down in the comments. It was weird. What is going on? Do you know? I shouldn't do this! Now I'm not gonna get flow like life. I want that dragon coin because Yukari's a dragon now. It's now officially canon. Sorry. Okay, midpoints, they heal me. Plants, they bitey. And the buddy, buddy, buddy guy falls. Oh no, such a tragic end. Oh no! My first death. Wow, it's not within the first minute for once. Well, this is obviously to see if the midpoints work differently in this video game hack, and or a clever way to heal up. Ah yes, the cleverest of donut. Should I get all the dragon coins? Watching a terraformer play video games a lot is telling me it seems like a worthwhile endeavor that never, ever, 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 ever bites someone in the back. At least as long as they don't buy in the front, that's what I say. Looks like there's something up there. But how would you go up there? You do not. You evolve. You grow legs and faces and feet in that order. And that is how you become one. What's that? Ah! A guy! Ugh! Whoa, we got... Oh no! I'm losing all motion controls here. You can tell by the buttons that display the buttons I press. See? I'm pressing buttons, it's pretty weird. It's very strange. It's very odd! What's with the hiss? What be hissing? Is it like part of the music? I think so! There's a bridge! I think so! Fauna. Whoa! Is there wall jumps in this game? Or did I just tile jump? Let's try it out! Whoa, okay, I tile jumped. <laughs> Surprise! And that is five, the five in the world that I found in a puzzle. What? No, it wasn't a puzzle, it was in the sky. The giant cookie looking cookies just floating around in the sky that we call coins in order to be polite. I really love how she tips her hat. It's very gentlemanly of you, Marissa. You need to act your age, and I'm glad to see you do as such. Let us bridge a mushroom. That music... Whew. We should probably save that music. It is being horribly tortured. Musical mushrooms call with change or it's basically the same. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Good thing the ministry's there to get our back. Oh, you're just trying to excuse a bug you won't fix on your thing, you crazy lacy muskrat. Bouncing on a musical mushroom of joy! We're full of beef because we just ate and now our belly is full. Sometimes I can bounce, sometimes I can forget. But the laws of physics will always be on my side, especially if I keep my stride, which I didn't there. Whoa, there's a big giant orby looking ball. Ah! 
Um, I'm slightly worried by the implications of this. Also, way to eat by the side of your face there. No, but really, what? This is weird. I do not like this. Is they're going where it is? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I'm doing my best not to mention anything here because it feels so weird. Oh, jeez. Um, well, these are mushrooms and and there's a bridge, so, like the musical note they represent. Oh, I, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Uh, oh, Gordo! Gordo! You're my friend! Uh, bouncing thing! You are also my friend. Don't know what's going on here. I'm mildly panicking. I really don't know what is going on. Something wrong with them plants. Do you not agree? This is a friendly piece of hard art that I've somehow found in the middle of the road. Well, obviously you gotta bounce on the turtle-like winged animal, but I keep not getting in the hole because survival instincts are all, yo buddy, why are you going about whatever? Oh, whatever. That's, yo, whatever. That thing deserves to die. That thing, what did you? Oh, I've I've got the shivers and the quivers going all up all up my spine here. Now I had planned to stop here regardless, but I'm gonna stop here regardless anyways. This was just why are you giving me an auto save prompt if I can save after levels? Because it probably won't save after every level. It's a very nice convenience. Don't complain about stupid things, okay? We're in the forest and there are icy hills. And I have no idea where this might be going. I suspect it might get hard considering the legacy behind these games. And there's nice little, you know, parade of power-ups on the side. Depicting shapes that are not all in this game, such as the flower. This is Rao Cow playing a video game, and join me next time when we are in search of Bowser. Allegedly.